Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we shall learn few basic concepts of number system in mathematics. Come, let's move into the topic. Okay, enough. Let us learn more about numbers. We begin with natural number. What are natural numbers? We use counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 for regular counting okay, in our day to day life. So the natural number is written by letter N represented by letter capital letter N and we write in a set form like this natural number n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, so all the counting numbers are natural numbers. Then, what are whole numbers? The natural numbers along with 0 is called as whole number. When we say whole, we represent the full thing whole. So, we write whole number set like this w is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 it goes on like this it proceeds next is integers integers are represented by a letter z or capital letter i so we can write integers either positive or negative of natural number along with the whole numbers are called as integers we write integers like this z is equal to we have whole number 0 1 2 3 even positive natural numbers and with negative natural numbers also so this represent integers next we'll move to real numbers what are real numbers real numbers include natural number whole number and integers they all form actually real numbers next is we we shall see few examples for real numbers you see minus 10 minus 2 3 7 0 5 etc and as it of we have taken minus digit uh, decimals also 3.5 minus 2.5 1 by 2 even fractions 5, 2 by 3 and 15.5 etc. So these are our real numbers. Next we will move to even natural numbers. We take natural numbers begin with 1, 2, 3 etc. So if you consider only the even numbers these are called even natural numbers. For example 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 etc. Next is odd natural numbers represented by letter O. We take only the odd numbers from the natural numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. Next, we will move to one of the important uh, numbers which we use for the further calculation that are prime numbers. What are prime numbers? Prime numbers are those numbers which are greater than 1 and these numbers are divided by the number itself okay it's new divided by 1 and the number itself that's all so we take from 2 we don't consider 1 because prime numbers are greater than 1 so we don't take 1 into consideration and we take from 2 2 is divided by 1 and 2 by 2 is 1 so further we cannot divide this number by any other number same way 3 same way 5 7 4 we cannot take for prime numbers because 4 divided by 1 we write 4 by 4 4 is also written as 4 by 2 so we cannot take that as prime number okay next we will move to rational numbers so let us consider a number p if p is an integer and q is also an integer and remember q is not equal to 0 then the number of the form p by q is called rational number if you write p by q in the ratio form in division form p by q is called rational number okay so let's see a few example 
2 by 3 it is in the form of p by q and whereas this q denominator is not equal to 0 so this is a rational number and 16 by 21 8 by 9 6 by 1 minus 7 by 1 so here also minus signs we see even if it is minus number minus signs if it is written in form of p by q we call them as rational numbers next we will move to irrational number a number that cannot be written as fractions are called as irrational numbers for example square root of 5 square root of 3 square root of 11 even pi pi if you write like this in the symbol form it is called as irrational number I am moving little fast because all these concepts you have learned in your previous classes just in order to help out all the GPSTR students those who are preparing for the exams we take these classes and uh, hope you have already studied all this just to recall next we will move to real numbers let's learn more about real numbers in order to explain we have taken two representation diagrams see real number can be divided into rational and irrational numbers whereas rational number includes natural numbers whole numbers integers irrational numbers you know the examples and look at this beauty of this numbers here begin with natural number you know natural numbers starts from 1 2 3 etc when we take whole number whole number includes the natural number along with 0 then when we take integers integers contain whole number and natural number then when we take rational numbers it also contains integers whole number and natural numbers here are a few points to remember regarding this number remember every integer is a rational number every integer is a rational number but all rational numbers are not integers okay so if it is a rational number and it is not necessary that it should be an integer okay then when we take 0 0 by 1 if you write in this form of numerator denominator like this it's a rational number because 0 we can write as 0 by 1 denominator is not equal to 0 that's a condition then about irrational number irrational numbers are real numbers you know irrational numbers are real numbers but all the real numbers are not irrational numbers because irrational number we write like this form all the real numbers are not irrational it could be rational also but all the irrational numbers are real numbers let's learn few numbers the magics okay evaluate module of minus 15 here a number is written like this inside the module either it is positive or negative you can write the number itself okay irrespective of the sign you have to write the number itself so minus 15 even though it's minus since it is inside the module we write as plus 15 only it's, it's understood that no need of writing plus here it's 15 but if the sign is outside the module we need to consider the sign the value of module of 15 is 15 the num sign is outside the module so we write minus 15 here minus of minus 15 so mm, this value of minus 15 inside the module is 15 this minus sign is considered as it is so minus 15 and here we have two more numbers module 7 plus of module minus 3 the value of module of 7 is 7 itself plus this value is plus 3 now further simplify 7 plus 3 is 10 and this here we have module of 8 minus of minus 6 value of module 8 is 8 minus value of minus 6 is 6 only so 8 minus 6 is 2 moving further let's learn few more rules in the number system to be followed so when we take 
addition of two signs if you take plus and plus we get plus only when we add two numbers with the same sign when we add minus minus we will get minus only so let me take since we are adding let me just put plus here is equal to is equal to but when you deal with one plus sign and one minus sign we get greater number sign you subtract write the greater numbers sign while performing the operation so either plus or minus when you deal with these two numbers same way when you take one minus and one plus here again we have to subtract and put the greater number sign you have to subtract the smaller number from the greater number remember that subtract okay how about the multiplication it's easy most of us get confused with the multiplication and addition of this it's easy so pay attention when we write plus into plus we get plus only it means we are multiplying plus into plus is equal to plus minus into minus is equal to plus minus into minus is equal to plus when we multiply 1 plus and 1 minus we get minus when we take 1 minus and 1 plus we get minus so while multiplying it's easy plus into plus is plus minus into minus is also plus plus into minus 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 into plus is equal to minus this is in case of multiplication cleared okay let's evaluate few more numericals if it is given like this bracket of plus 18 plus bracket of minus 12 minus bracket of plus 6 minus bracket of minus 9 if it is given how to solve you know the board mass rule what is board mass rule bracket of division multiplication addition and subtraction so let us solve this first you have to remove the bracket so this number plus 18 inside the bracket you can just write as plus 18 and now bracket means you have to multiply we have just now recall that plus into minus is minus 12 as it is again plus into minus is minus 6 minus into minus is plus 9 now we have removed the bracket uh, bring in all the positive numbers and negative numbers together so i'm doing that you see you can add up plus and plus plus 18 plus 9 you can add up and put the same sign add up and put the same sign as 27 this two minus 12 and minus 6 you can add them up and put the same sign here whenever you deal with few those have doubt if you come across a number like this plus 18 and plus 0 9 you have a number like this so when you have two numbers to be added check for the sign if it is same sign add up and put the same nine, same sign 8 plus 9 17 7 1 is remaining 1 plus 1 is 2 so you add them up and put the same sign hence you get plus 27 for this two number same way you have minus 12 and minus 06 you have two numbers with the same sign add up and put the same sign 12 plus 6 is 18 with the same sign that's how we got this now we have two numbers with different sign when you have two numbers with different sign subtract the smaller number from the bigger number so 27 minus 18 gives us 9 let us move to the next sum minus 45 plus of 
minus 77 minus of minus 57 plus 50 let's remove the bracket first by removing the bracket we get the values like this plus into minus is minus 77 remains as it is this 45 will remain as it is with the sign then plus minus into minus is plus plus 57 this 50 with plus sign as it is as we told earlier two different number with the same sign add up and put the same sign add them up and put the same sign as minus this two have plus add them up and put the same sign now subtract the smaller number from the greater number and put the greater number sign so we have to subtract 107 from 122 so we don't have the enough number here you borrow it becomes 12 12 minus 7 is 5 only 1 is remaining 1 minus 1 is 0 you got 15 here as the answer but the greater number sign is minus here it minus smaller number is plus so we will have to put the greater number sign as minus minus 15 that's how you got so biology students if at all you are preparing for mathematics please check it out this let's move to another number which was multiplication that is minus 2 into minus 3 into minus 4 into minus 5 if it is like this with all multiplication sign you can take any two numbers and simplify minus into minus plus 2 3 is a 6 into this minus into minus is plus 4 5 is a 20 remember this is given multiplication not with plus or minus sign you cannot perform this action please refer for more uh, sums like this and practice 6 into 20 is 120 since this two have plus sign it's understood it is plus only we'll move to another number another sum 5 into 3 plus 12 divided by 3 here we have three different sign hence as i told you earlier we have to use bodmos rule to solve this you know bodmos rule b stands for bracket o stands for off d for division m for multiplication a for addition s for subtraction hence we have to remove if any brackets in the sum here we don't have bracket so we no need to bother then first we'll go for division so here we have division 12 divided by 3 first we have to solve this till then this remaining number should be written as it is 4 5 into 3 plus 12 divided by 3 is 4 okay then you have to perform any um, first division is over any multiplication yes there is a multiplication 5 3 is a 5 3 is a 15 this plus 4 remains as it is if any is addition yes 15 plus 4 is 19 with the same sign if it is subtraction further you can simplify it clear hope you have understood hence we have covered a few basic concepts from number system in the following classes let's learn more about number system okay friends don't forget to subscribe our channel to learn more interesting topics in mathematics and press the bell icon for further notifications thank you